Hey class, welcome to week seven of Principles of Coaching. Uh, this week we're talking about managing your team. Um, so we have uh, we got two discussion questions this week, and then we have our book review, which which we'll talk about in a little bit. Um, but we're going to have you read chapters eighteen and nineteen. Um, so chapters eighteen, um, you see the question here. Uh, talks about seven managers a coach needs to be. Um, so you'll find that on, on page 357. Um, it goes through uh, just really all the responsibilities of a coach. Um, and I, I'd, be inter- I'd be interested to know what you feel like you're strongest at and then, you know, an area that you feel like you need to, you, you're weak at right now and, and need to get better. Um, so that's, that's kind of where we're going with this question. Um, there's so much that goes into coaching, um, whether you're at the youth level, at the high school level, college level, professional level. Um, obviously, as as the levels increase, um, so does you know your help. Uh, so as as you go from high school to college, you have more assistants, more managers, and then college to pro is you know you have tons of assistants, tons of, tons of, uh, managers. Um, but as a coach, you really need to be the one that is managing all that. And you need to, you need to be able to hire the right people. Um, and, and, you know, know, know what their strengths are and, and how to utilize them. Um, so, uh, yeah, I want you guys to I want you guys to look at that that table on page 357, and um, just look at those manager categories, um, and and just all that goes into being a coach. Um, you know, a lot of times when I tell someone that I'm a coach, um, people that don't know a lot about it will kind of give me a funny look, like, "Oh, that's that sound that sounds fun." Um, I've heard comments like. You know, it must be fun to sit in your office and and draw up plays all day. Um, and many don't know all that goes into coaching. And it, as a college coach, I probably spend probably three percent of my job is actually on the court coaching basketball. I would say out of out of all the stuff that we do um, from the preseason to the off season, um, all the stuff that we do is, I would say probably 3% of it is actually on the floor coaching. There's so much that goes into it right now. We're in the middle of summer. We're recruiting. We're, um, trying to help guys get eligible. We're evaluating transcripts to make sure guys have enough credits. Um, GPAs are in the right place. And if they're not, they have to, um, you know, get in a summer class somewhere. Um, so, and then obviously now we're doing a lot of planning. We're doing scheduling for games, um, planning our road trips, looking at our budget, raising money, um, for all those, for all those things. Um, so much work to be done. Um, and many, many people don't know how much goes into it. So hopefully, hopefully reading and going over chapter 18 will give you guys uh, an eye opener if you didn't already know about how much goes into to coaching discussion question two um in chapter 19 uh chapter 19 list four interpersonal skills um you'll find those on on page 379 um four interpersonal skills i want you guys to pick one and and just write about the importance of that in, in coaching Um, so yeah. And one of the, one of the things that stands out to me, um, in reading through this chapter and interpersonal skills and relating it to coaching is just the importance of relationships. Relationships and coaching is, is so important when you look at the athlete coach relationship. Um, when you look at your relationship with your assistant coaches, When you look at um, your relationship with other coaches, if you're on the college level, you have to have relationships with 
coaches throughout the country to help you recruit. Um, you know, one of the things that I've really worked on trying to improve is, is building relationships with, with junior college and high school coaches um, across the country so that they trust me. So when I call and I'm, we're in need of a, of a player, they can trust that they're coming to a good program and that we're going to take care of them. And that's been really hard, hard to do. I would say that I'm still really far away from being um, where, you know, I would want to be where I have lots of, of good relationships. Um, I think that's something I need to get a lot better at is, is uh, just continuing to, to build relationships. Um, I was at a conference in Las Vegas um, this past week and we talked about, and a lot of, there was a lot of NBA coaches that, that were there speaking and almost all of them talked about the importance of relationships with their players. Um, when we have, when we have players in our program that trust us, um, they will run through a wall for us. Um, and so just developing that relationship and, and, and finding out, um, what gets those players to talk and, and then just sitting back and listening and, and learning about them and, and finding out what makes them tick. Um, all those things are, are so important in coaching. Um, and then beyond just the, the athlete coach relationship, all the relationships that you'll have, um, with, with other coaches and with, with your assistant coaches, um, so important. So, um, want you guys to, to go through um, some of those interpersonal skills and, and read about those and, and pick one and write about the importance of that skill. Um, moving on and looking to our, our book review in week seven, um, <clears throat> uh, you're going to pick a book from this list. Again, if there's a book outside of this list that you want to read, um, please get that approved by me. And then you'll, you'll